Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. Recently, I did a live stream with James Quick and showed him how to publish packages to NPM. In this video series, I'm going to take that live stream and break it down into smaller digestible chunks to teach you the very same thing. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create kind of like a fake NPM package locally here on our machine. And I'll show you how to import that package into other applications without publishing it to NPM first. So here we have an empty directory. Let's just make like a very basic NPM uh, package. So we'll create a folder and we'll call it my package. And let's very first thing create an index.js. This will be the actual contents of our package. We'll make it very simple and say like, hello from my package. Maybe make it do like a console log and maybe we'll even export a, a method. Something simple like a method that says like, say hello. And maybe we can take a name parameter and just log out. Something simple like, hello and whatever that name parameter is. And remember, this is a uh, node module. So we use the module syntax, module.exports equals say hello. So great, that is a, a full minimal node module. Uh, the next thing you have to do is create a package.json file. And in this, this is a JSON file that tells NPM, the node package manager, uh, meta information about this package. There's very few things that are actually required here. So we're going to do the very minimum. First of all, you need a name field. So let's make this name field, uh, whatever you want. This could be my package. We'll also give it a version. This is very important. We are early days, so let's do 0.0.1. .0 and then finally, we need to have this main entry to say what file this package actually exports. So when you require it, what file is going to get uh, handed over to the application that is pulling it in? In this case, we want to give index.js. Cool, and with that, uh, that is a fully functioning uh, node module. Let's test that it works by going into the my package directory and actually running node index.js. In this case, we should see the console log. Hello from my package. Perfect. So now that we've created our very own node module, uh, we want to test that it actually works, that we can import it into another application and use it. So let's make a new folder and we'll call it my app, right? And inside of my app, we'll have an index.js file as well. And what we want to do is import my package just like any other node module. So we could do something like const and in this case, we had a named export so we can destructure it and do say hello, right? Because if we check my package, we exported say hello, an object with uh, say hello defined in it. So we're destructuring that object and we're using the require syntax because we're running in node and we're going to import my package. Now we haven't actually published this to NPM. This isn't actually going to work. Um, just from importing this, we should see the console log running as a side effect, but this will fail because the package hasn't been published yet. So I'm going to CD over into my app and give this a test. I'll run node index.js and we're going to get an error very much expected. Cannot find module my package. Great. But we want to be able to test this locally on our machine without actually publishing to NPM. So this is a two-step process. First of all, let me open a, a second terminal here. You guys can't see that very well. 
we'll cd over into the my package directory again and in order to test this locally or kind of fake that it's installed uh, in the package directory you run npm link what this does is it creates a symbolic link in your global node modules folder acting like this package actually got installed to your system and it points at this my package directory let's kind of think of it as like a redirect from node node modules to this directory that you ran the npm link command in now the second step is to go over to my app and then run essentially the same command but you actually have to tell it what to link to so this is kind of like the second half of the chain you can imagine uh, over here you have your package over here you have your global node modules folder and over here at the other end of the triangle you have your application pulling it in you're connecting all three links so in your app you do npm link and then the name of the package my package now you've kind of created that triangle where you have uh, my package pointing to node modules which is pointing to my app now, if we run my app again, node index.js, we'll see that say hello is actually, well, not say hello, but the, the side effect of my package, which is the console log of say uh, hello for my package is actually called. Let's actually try to run say hello and maybe we'll pass it in my name, Brad. And now we should see not only hello from my package when it was required, but also hello, Brad. So you've now essentially faked that that your local package has been installed and you can test locally uh and if you want to if you want to back out that local installation once you've published it's also a two-step process very similar thing in your app directory you would npm unlink and then specify the name of the package again my package that severs one half of the triangle and then you'd go over to the my package directory and just like we did an npm link before we'll do the opposite npm unlink that removes it from your node modules directory uh, that's it now if we if we run from my app this will fail again right module not found my package because we broke that link So in this video, uh, you should now know how to create a very, very simple node module and use the npm link command to test it locally before pushing it up to npm. In the following videos, I'll go over how to actually publish this package to npm and uh, even automate that process. So thanks for watching. This is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy.